Today we're going to a town called Cove. I hope I'm pronouncing that right because you'll see by the spelling that that isn't how you would pronounce it in the English way. But anyway, to get to this place we need to get a train. It's about 20 minutes and we're just making our way towards the station now. We are here and this is where we are going. Cove, Cove, as I said. <laughs> Unless somebody had told me I would not have pronounced it that way. But anyway, let's go down here and get a train ticket. For the ticket? Yeah, you can get tickets together as well. Is there a ticket person yeah. there? Yeah. You're a good man. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. Hello. Hello. Please may have a ticket to Cove. To Cove. Uh, to uh, return, sorry. It's 690. Let's see if I've got the change here. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Thank you. What platform is that please? Just that on here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just get that as well. Up the rebels. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> so you've got the national trains behind me there. That one's going to Dublin. And we're on the local trains just here. We've only got a 10 minute wait. Go there. Train to Cove. We are here. Cove, Cove, historic town. Look at this, we've got some <laughs> tropical feel to some of these trees, even though the weather isn't very tropical. But anyway, let's go and take a look at the town and see what we can find. You can see a sign there for the Titanic experience, and this is because the Titanic actually left from this very place before it succumbed to its fate. And it's also said that if you have Irish descendancy from anywhere around the world, then it is most likely that your ancestors left from this very place, Cove. You can see the entrance to the museum there, but behind me, is the super imposing Cathedral of Cove. Look at that building. We'll get up there and take a closer look later on. Little bit of sport memorabilia right there. I can actually remember watching Sonia O'Sullivan as I was growing up. Statues in the perfect place, I would say. You start getting used to these <laughs> hill climbs when you're wandering around Ireland. No wonder Sonia O'Sullivan won that silver medal at the Olympics. Dear oh dear. little bit of historical information there to show you the significance of this town. The area of Cove was the center of naval and religious power for over two centuries, from 1793 to 1922. And there it is, St. Coleman's Cathedral. What an absolute gem of a building. I think it's only right if we go over and take a little wander inside and show you what a beautiful structure.
Boink Island. That is where I was planning to go, which is just over there in the distance. It's um, an old world star fort, also used as a prison, gone through many different uses, but um, <laughs> the ticket office is closed. Can't see anybody here. So I'm not entirely too sure what is going. Perhaps I'm in the wrong place. We'll go and have a little wander around somewhere else along the harbour, see if we can find. But there it is over there. Not much of a view from here. And would you believe it? Look at that. <laughs> Never mind, never mind. Anyway, I'll show you from there. <laughs> you can see it's an old world star fort. Yeah, gone through many different altercations, uses throughout its time, but um, yeah, <laughs> we won't be going there today. Every cloud has a silver lining and all that. I'll take it as an opportunity to visit the Titanic experience, but before that, I think it's time we go and get a little bite to eat. Let's go and find some food real quick. Is where I just ate, Cafe Vega. And I've got to say, if you are in Cork, I recommend coming to this town of Cove. It's not very big, but it has got a lot of character and a lot of charm, and that is something that is severely lacking in many of the places that they build today. You can see the cathedral back there. I've decided to take a little walk down to the Titanic Memorial Garden. 200 meters down this way. Take a little wander, see what we find. Well, I've actually misread that sign because it's not down this way. It was 200 meters up the way. <laughs> so looks like we're climbing these steps and continuing as we were. This is the third one that I've noticed of these now in these little towns and it's just a public library. There you go, take a book, leave a book. All sharing and all that. I like what I see, I like what I see. But anyway, is this the Memorial Garden? I'm not entirely too sure. If it is, I'm not gonna lie, slightly disappointed. Not what I was expecting. I can see some Titanic references. Sure, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> There's a gate over there. I was about to say, you know, not one to <laughs> <laughs> Criticised, but really, that isn't a memorial garden. Anyway, it looks locked. <laughs> Chose a good time of year to come to this place. Nothing is open, or well, you've got a pre book ahead. There we go Titanic Memorial Garden 2014. It was opened, and is it open? Is it open? No, it is completely locked. Actually, actually. We've got a trail around here. I'm having a little bit of a mare today. <laughs> it does happen. Or is it a trail? Oh my God. <laughs> it's not a trail. Well, <laughs> it's not open. So I've walked all the way down here for now. Well, I've seen some, I've been walking along the coastline. It's not for now, you know what I'm getting at. But anyway, what is going on? Why would that be locked? It's just the garden. Surely that should be open. And this goes down there. I don't know what is going on. If anyone knows where the garden is, whether I'm uh, <laughs> just having one of them days where I'm not really seeing things properly. But I'll tell you what, I can hear a dog. There he is up there at the top of the hill. All right, good boy, you stay there. But look, here we go. This is what I really wanted to go and see, was the star fort. That would have been impressive. Uh, geometric formation from the sky. Bastion forts, old world star forts. But uh, yeah, not to be, not to be. So anyway, perhaps this is even the garden. I, I don't actually know. I do not actually know at the moment. If that is, well, yeah, I'll let you. <laughs> side on that one and I think it is actually the garden because there's a stone there 
What have we got? A gift to the people of Cove. I'm not entirely too sure, people. I'm really not entirely too sure what is going on. But anyway, we're going to make our way back now. And yeah, <laughs> this is the Titanic Memorial Garden, apparently. There you go. Seeing as though we're here, and I can see a little passageway leading somewhere, why not check it out? Why not check it out? Probably going to be another dead end, the way things are going. Oh no. Well, it's always nice to see the sea. Coastal views, not going to complain at that. But yeah, <laughs> let's go back to the town. Well, it definitely was the memorial garden. I just see the lady there with a handful of books. So she's obviously going to the public library, the free library. I really do like that idea. We should bring that back, but I'm not entirely too sure it would work in England. I've got to be honest. I don't think there'll be too many books left in some of the towns from my place of birth. <laughs> These old pictures really do fascinate me because we can see the grand buildings, the architecture that is just incredible. And then we see the people, horse and cart people, wooden boats, very primitive, very primitive. And yet the architecture, it's not primitive, it's <laughs> spectacular. Some interesting information as we're walking along the coastal road here. The Lusitania, which was a UK uh, liner, a ship, was actually sunk not too far from here by the German Navy. And this was a catalyst for escalating things during World War I. We also have the Titanic leaving from here. So I think it's fair to say these waters have seen a fair bit of action over their time. There you go, three million emigrated from Queenstown. Queenstown is also the name of Cove. But anyway, we're back at the train station now, gonna make our way back to Cork. <laughs> Actually just forgot where I was going right then, but today hasn't really gone according to plan, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Having said that, I've actually enjoyed the little wander upon the, uh, the town here. And I recommend you come in and pay it a visit if you come to visit Cork. So this seems to be a good place to wrap this video up. Hope you've enjoyed the wonder and I will see you all on the next video. Take care and remember, life is beautiful.